Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, this is a relatively simple, straightforward, and common sense amendment. The reconciliation bill provides a full $37 billion uh, to uh, an additional funds, borrowed funds to the housing trust fund uh, for uh, presumably for the creation and preservation of low income housing. Um, what this amendment is designed to do is to simply say for those funds that are going into the housing trust fund, we want to make sure that that funding is not being used to create overly expensive units. This committee has discussed the high cost of construction of housing in states like New York and California many times, and frankly, the high cost of housing generally. Uh, it is unacceptable that it costs $750,000 to build a single quote unquote affordable apartment in San Francisco. And even more unbelievably, National Public Radio recently reported on the cost for the city of Los Angeles to set up a government-funded tent encampment in a parking lot. It costs more than $2,600 per tent per month to run. How is it possible that it costs so much to pitch a tent in an empty parking spot? This isn't sustainable, and it's always what happens when high-cost cities get to spend someone else's money. But instead of trying to fix these issues, the majority decided to throw away a few hundred billion dollars of taxpayer funds to subsidize their way out of it. My amendment would put a $750,000 per unit cap on the cost it takes to build new housing with housing trust fund dollars. This will ensure funding from this program is used responsibly so we can build the most possible units with these funds and, and make sure that this uh, money is targeted for affordable units, not uh, super expensive units. I'm afraid that if we don't establish some type of guardrails on this program, the cost to build housing with these funds will creep upwards until it's out of control nationwide like it is in California and New York. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and, and just in conclusion, here's why. Any member of Congress who votes against this amendment is voting to subsidize the construction of units, apartment units that cost a million, 1.5 million, 2 million, and no limit above that. This is a simple amendment to cap the per unit cost. If we're truly focusing this on affordable housing, for goodness sakes, let's not allow hard earned taxpayers to be subsidizing million dollar and $2 million apartments. With that, uh, 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 Madam Speaker, I'll, I'll yield back.